gallery. Duh. Guess you closed up shop early. I suppose you need all the time you can get to pack the one toothbrush and three pairs of socks you've been able to fit in your cabin out there in Nowheresville, Alaska. <laughs> wow. I can't believe we're going to be townmates again. Workmates. Movie night mates. I don't know what to say, you know? I'm stoked. I'll admit it, and you should be too. It is beautiful out here in, um, well, Nowheresville, Arizona. <laughs> Seriously, though, there is this sense of infinite possibility in the landscape. Some serious inspiration for your script, right? Call me corny, but you'll see what I mean when you get here. Anyway, let me know what I can do to smooth out your arrival, okay? HR was still a bit concerned that you've never worked a security booth before, but I squared everything away, and you're set to start in the new year as planned. At the very least, I trust you to keep us safe. <laughs> all right, I'll shut up now. Last night's experiment was an all-nighter, so I should, uh, I should probably get some sleep. <laughs> Love you. See you soon. for what, three months and that's it? See you later? When were you planning on telling me? Any time would have been better than right now. <sighs> All right, cool. So now on top of the critical experiment we're about to conduct, I have to worry about you abandoning ship. And thanks for breaking the news from all the way out there in your cozy guard booth while we're at work, instead of telling me to my face. So now what? What's next with that Swiss cheese resume of yours? Barclay wouldn't have even looked at it if I hadn't pulled some strings to get you here. Burning another bridge with yet another employer is not what's best. What are you gonna do? Go back to New York? The days of crashing on our friends' couches are over. I mean, Ben just had a kid, for God's sake. And who's gonna put in a good word for you? The boss here sure as hell won't, or the last three employers you abandoned. Are you agreeing with me? Or is the sarcasm a way to avoid talking about this more? too, from time to time. All I ask is that you really consider what I'm saying. <sighs> I have to get back to work. Let's continue this later. What's up, my righteous radio ravers? You're totally tuned into KZRU, the only radio station as far as you or I are concerned. Spinning for you right now and here to kick off an explosive hour of audacious ostinatos is that hot new track from Rose Finch. This is Interference.
This is security booth A. Come in. Over. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna have to write that one down. <laughs> That's killer. Hey, this is Perry Good over in Booth A, by the way. You heard, right? <laughs> we ain't nothing but voices out here, my friend. Nice to officially meet you. Apologies for dragging my feet on making your acquaintance. I haven't been too keen on making new friends ever since Jenkins took over and fired a bunch of my buddies. You might have heard, but Spencer over in Booth C is MIA, and Jen from the central office is giving him the old welfare check. Can you do me a solid? What the hell was that? Oh, damn. Do you see that smoke? That's over by Spencer's post. I'm gonna hightail it over there, see what's going on. Over and out. Well, not really sure what just happened there. Seems we're having some technical difficulties. <laughs> Pardon our dust. We'll get cracking on fixing that flow so you can put that little <laughs> left. Hey, are you there? Please answer me. Oh, God. Please. Oh, thank God. I'm okay. For now. But things are real bad over here. Those, uh, Unseen Order people, the, uh, you know, that group that's always bothering us, they... Those goddamn cultists, more like it. Dr. Litvin, please. Yeah, those somehow got into the facility and are trying to get to us in the central lab. Like, this goes way beyond the picketing and protests. The blast doors are engaged, but they're heavily armed, and we're not sure if the doors are gonna hold. But you're all right. You're safe? What's going on out there? Did you not hear me say they're armed? That means they have guns. Anyway, we can override the security protocols on one of the other doors, but those cultists interrupted our experiment. And we can't just leave things out in the open like this. Valerie, what are you still doing here? I, 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 uh... You need to go. Oh, what about the... Valerie, you need to get that research somewhere safe. Go. We can handle the rest of the containment procedure. I don't know what you heard. Williams wants me to get the core research out of the lab, but I'm afraid I'll get lost if I try to navigate by myself. Let me think. Hey, there's a map of the facility in your booth, right? I need your help to guide me out of here. So which direction do I need to go to start making my way to an exit? Those cultists cut power to the backup generators and we're trapped inside the lab. If we could just... Wait a minute. You have that power reroute software on your computer, right? I think... Hold on. William, would that work? I reckon it would. Do we have a choice? Dr. Dr. Lippin. Check your computer. If I'm remembering correctly, you should see the central lab of Sector 5 as offline. Just follow the prompts to authorize Welcome a power to the and they should take care of the rest. Automated phone Hopefully that'll be enough to get these doors open. Your authorization code for Booth I mean, B power reroute no rush. is one. Uh, eight. I don't think we've got much time. Nine, Are you four. able to get the power on? If you did not request it. Doors are online. No gun. We got it. Oh, thank you. I'll radio when I'm safe. I might need your help getting out of the facility. I got a feeling we're just getting started.